Rated E for everyone. Originally, we built a small playable version of Studiopolis and the prototype was called Sonic Discovery and mm -hmm, yeah. we presented it to Izuka-san at SOA. I remember. I remember. The whole team's reaction was one of being overjoyed, but also simultaneously being like, oh wow, we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> So there was so much demand for a physical version of Sonic Mania that we decided to make a special edition for the fans. We, we want, basically wanted to add enough content so that people you know, playing Sonic Mania, say, a year later, could go back and experience the content in the same way maybe a band plays an encore set. You know, we even added some additional cutscenes so the next time the players run through Mania mode, they'll get a bit of a surprise. 今回あの、I think Mighty is a really good choice for novice players because he can deflect projectiles with his shell. Uh, he can smash through the ground with his hammer drop move. Even, um, you know, like spikes are less of an obstacle for him. I think Ray is really good for more experienced players who've maybe done a few runs through Mania mode. You know, Ray's air glide gives him new ways to chain together the different tiers of level routes. You know, it's a move that takes a bit of work to master, but once you've mastered it, you can basically glide through the air like a mad dead devil. Anchor mode is a little bit of 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 a で、これはま、ソニックマイティでプレイしていて、ま、一人ミスをするとあの、切り替えるっていう遊びがあるので、今までのステージ攻略と so for competition mode, we've enhanced it to now have four players instead of two. Our dev team is based across all the world, so we, we only get a few moments where all of our dev team is in the one room, so naturally the first thing we wanted to try is competition mode. So as you can imagine, the gameplay gets pretty frantic. I think for me it was a fantastic and fulfilling experience. I was just in general surprised about what we were able to do in Sonic Mania. A fantastic uh, memory for me was when Izuka-san suggested that the Death Egg robot came back in Green Hill Zone. Izuka-san was like, can you make this happen? And I was like, mate, I can have him dancing around with maracas if you want. Like our, our team was just ready, raring to go at the opportunity to add new un unexpected stuff in Sonic Mania.